We're joined now by naturopath, nutritionist, magazine writer and blogger from the Rene Naturally website, Rene Leonard Stainton, who is here today to talk to us about the important mineral that we may be lacking in our diet. Welcome, Rene. Hi. Lovely you. to have you here. You. Now, iron is something that, um, well, many of us can be deficient in, but we don't know. So what are the symptoms that we need to look out for first? Well, aside from the obvious, you know, everyone sort of knows when you're iron deficient, you're tired, yeah. but also things like irritability, um, headaches, constipation and for a lot of people as well they find that they lose concentration so they just you know if you're floating off when you're at work often that can be a sign of iron deficiency okay often it's just a sign that you're a bit bored as well isn't it let's be honest but but also, <laughs> let's be honest, it does, when, when things get a little bit more severe with the iron deficiency you can find that you get sort of cold hands and feet so a lot of women do complain of that, that they just never can get warm in mm. winter um, also that really pale look that you get as well and interestingly actually a lot of people don't realize that when you are getting a lot of infections say you're on antibiotics a lot it can actually be due to an iron deficiency so you're more prone to infection so definitely a warning sign if you're getting a sick, that's sick really, a lot. really interesting so that's something that is often overlooked as well as an iron deficiency yeah so if you do have all these symptoms what should you do so definitely go check it out with your doctor and get a full blood analysis done so there may be lots of reasons that you are iron deficient. It doesn't just necessarily mean you're not eating enough iron-rich food. The blood test can let you know what those reasons are. It may be something like a B12 deficiency, um, folic acid deficiency. So once you find that out, you then can actually choose the right course of treatment. So that, that may just be dietary changes, mm -hmm. um, or it could be supplements. So it depends on the results. Okay, so you just have to you have to go and get it checked up. Definitely properly get first. it checked. Yeah, don't. Um, Dr. Google it or anything. Which we are all very prone to We are prone all very to prone do. to it and it's actually, it is dangerous to have too much iron in the body. So you, it's always worth checking it out before you take any supplements. It's always a balance. So who is most prone then to getting iron deficiencies? Uh, well, women are always quite prone, uh, obviously with menstruation, but also with childbirth, with uh, pregnancy and lactation. So pregnancy actually need twice the amount of iron that you did previously really? with all that extra blood volume. So it's an incredible um, increase in iron intake needed and often women have to go on supplements um, with that as well. Also the elderly, I think that's often overlooked. Um, with The elderly they have got less hydrochloric acid in their stomach so that's really necessary to help absorb the iron. So um, you and I probably have enough to absorb iron but as you get older it does decrease so they are quite prone to deficiency as well. It's fascinating. It's very much a juggling act, isn't it, of, of working out what you need and how you need it. Because it's not just taking the iron, you've got to take it with the right foods as well, otherwise it almost um, makes it ineffective. Well that's it. There's some things, so if you take it with um, tea, coffee, even milk actually, calcium supplements and antacids, it can actually impair the absorption. So it's not to say you can't have them. <laughs> You're looking at me like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm going to have my coffee. So, my coffee. No, you can still have them. It's just a matter of trying to have them separate from your iron rich food. Food. So okay. often, obviously, breakfast is more your cereals and um, grains, maybe green smoothies, but that's the time to um, have your supplements really then, not with your dinner. Thanks so much, Renee. Yeah. And we're going to keep Renee around as well because Renee has toddlers, so she'll be an expert when we talk coffee group stuff soon, toddler tantrums.